Welcome to HappyTricksters.com's video cast. If you have any questions, please email me at techfan5 at hotmail.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Windows XP look like Vista. And this is useful because Vista is the newest version of Windows and it looks cooler. For this tutorial, you're going to need five easy to install applications. The first one is called Zoom Theme for XP. And you can go to the first link here from a Google search and you can save the file. So Google search XP Zoom Theme. Okay, after you have downloaded the file, you, you have to go to the control panel. Display. And change the theme to Zoom. And apply. And wait while it take while it applies the feature. Okay, after that's done, you can just X out of this. Get out of the control panel as well. And you can get on to getting the next application, which is called Google Desktop. And it's really similar to the, to the desktop that they have in Vista. It's not the same, but it's still very similar. And it could fool a Vista user. Okay, so you can easily just install it here. After doing a Google search for a Google Desktop, so, so to get all these applications, just Google them, and you can after you install it, you can click this icon right here, and oh, oops, there's a lot. You, you can go to all programs. Let's see, Google Desktop, and start it up here. And it takes a while to start up. Okay, I set mine to auto hide, so I'm going to move my cursor, and here it is. It will not start on auto hide, so to do that, you're going to have to click this button, and that will auto hide it. Maybe you like to see it viewed out, but I don't. So, well, that's really just your choice. Okay, the next place you have to go is www.leesoft.com or you can just do a Google search for any of these three applications, VI Start, VI Orb, or VI Explore. And basically what these applications do is they edit the start menu, the start button, and the explorer that views your documents. So, they're really neat. Okay, so, you're going to have to install all three of those applications. But, when you have them and unzip them, well, unzip them before you install them, you're going to want to go to the place where you install them to. In my case, I put it in a folder under Vista Temperament. And you should start up all three of the programs. So now I have the Vista Pearl. And now I'm starting up the 
uh, editing to the start menu. And as you see, there's a sign here telling you it's starting up. And now I'm going to start up the Vista Explorer. Okay, so now that's done. I, as you see, the Pearl's up and the desktop looks exactly like Vista. So basically, it's complete Vista transformation. I have my, I have my toolbar. I have my start menu, which is the main features that people see that distinct Vista from XP. Okay, now I've, I've showed you a lot of, of applications that make win Windows XP look like Vista, and I think by now you're convinced that this that it works. It looks exactly like Vista. Okay, so now I'm going to tell, tell you a couple of things about, about the software and ways that you can cha change how it's run. So, now I'm going to go to computer. And under here I'm going to go to local disk. Documents and settings. Your user. Startup and programs, and now to start up. Okay, and this menu right here, you're going to drag all three of your applications so you can drag all of your applications in this folder. And what that will do is it will automatically start up the three applications. Oh, and Google Desktop starts up by itself, so you'll have no problem with that. So just drag the three applications in this folder, start up, and once you have that, these three applications will automatically start up when your computer starts. Okay, and here's another thing I'm going to tell you. you do you remember the, the VI Explorer program that I showed that changed the, how documents are viewed? It's not the best application you can use because it doesn't, um, you, you might have already seen, sh show up. It, not, in this thing right here, it looks like a regular Windows XP. To do that, you have to click the Windows button, and you have to click W. Once you click that, the, the Vista thing will start up. And it... Notice, I really like this because it allows you to navigate to other folders and files instead of repeatedly clicking the back arrow to, to move back all the way to my computer from a folder in your My Documents. You can just immediately go to computer. Okay, so this was a tutorial on how to make XP look like Vista. And for more tutorials, please go to happytrickster.weebly.com.